three, two, one. Do that again. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. Okay, ready? My name is Jason. Um, I'm 17 years old now. Um, my pronoun is he and him. I really like the community um, as it gives me lots of opportunity to express myself and um, it gives me the opportunity to meet more people. Hi, I'm Ruby. Um, I am 18. My pronouns are she, her, and um, something I love about Nilambic is definitely the um, greenery and all the gorgeous uh, nature that we have out here. Um, my name's Neve. I am 16 years old. I use they, them pronouns. I guess I think I like most about Nilambic is that there's so many activities and opportunities for a wide range of people. Uh, I'm Cutter. Uh, just I'm 17. Uh, I go by he, him, and I just love like the greenery of Nilambic. Uh, compared to other towns, this place is just like a lot like lush, a lot more of a lush environment. Something that makes me unique. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things that make me unique and make me who I am. Um, I'd probably say like my confidence and creativity, probably the first that comes to mind. I am a little bit musical. Um, unfortunately, I'm a bit instrumentally challenged, but I sing. Um, I've been fortunate enough to do some gigs around this lovely area. Um, yeah, that makes me a bit different. I absolutely love sports, but then also completely can change to a different thing. I, I don't know, I like wearing like bright colors. I love playing table tennis in my spare time. And I think this is one of the things that make me unique because most of the Australians doesn't, um, it's not good at table tennis. And so it's, it is really hard to find someone that really interested in table tennis. Well, there are many challenges I face in my life. Some are small, some are big. I come from a country that isn't Australia, so I'm not born in Australia. So this makes me unique as my um, race is different, my uh, skin is different. I think the community is really inclusive. There is lots of support for people with different cultural background. So I think this is really helpful, yeah. A lot of the challenges I've faced would probably be making new friends, which I've found to start being really good at since I came from America then to Australia and then moving from primary school to high school where none of my friends in primary school came with me. So just going into a new environment and adapting to that environment is probably like the biggest struggle I've had. One of the biggest challenges I've faced is being queer and coming out particularly as non-binary um, because often people like don't understand or specifically choose not to respect that. Um, I'm constantly misgendered, people ask intrusive questions, um, and just particularly at school, it's a big struggle to be respected for who I am. As I learn to kind of accept it and learn my own process of trying to make it, kind of advocate for myself, um, I'm able to gain that respect just because I'm able to fight and I'm no longer quiet about like, oh, like that's wrong. I'm now just like, that's wrong, please respect it. I think that living with mental illness is definitely a challenge that I've had to overcome. Um, a really big one that I've had to overcome. Um, yeah, that has led to a whole bunch of other challenges in itself. It took a really long time for me to um, learn to reach out and speak up for myself and what I needed. We've come a long way. Um, but I definitely think that it's still, unfortunately, a bit of a taboo issue, especially around treatment of mental illness, not necessarily mental illness itself, but um, seeking treatment and accessing treatment. I think um, people still get a little uncomfortable when I tell them that I'm in therapy or that I'm medicated, um, but it's just like if you were if you had broken your leg, you need painkillers to manage your pain and help you through rehabilitation. So I think that we definitely still need to break down some barriers, but we've come a long way. In broad terms, my hopes for the future are just that we as a society learn to respect each other. Um, and so when it comes to being queer, that looks like 
asking for pronouns that looks like not being judgmental of people's gender expression, not being judgmental of sexuality, whatever it is, just making sure that you keep, just stay respectful, really. I think that in the future, it's really vital to break down those barriers, um, to make everyone comfortable about speaking up about their issues and um, whether it be mental illness or anything else that they're struggling with, I think that um, we need to just set aside our judgments of other people and... Um, that was a spider, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think we could really get by without having friends by our side or anything like that because friends are our support. If we have no real support, I don't think, well, really humanity would get far at all. I think uh, friends are what lift everyone up and then you say you have a best friend, you lift them up and they lift you up. Don't be afraid to go up to someone and make a friend with them. Uh, even though they may turn you down, it's still, I'd say, more beneficial, beneficial because you may be turned down in life, but that shouldn't ever stop you at all. We live in a world of diversity. Every person from every place has a story to tell. By opening yourself up to others, sharing your experiences, together we can make a difference. We know your name, but not your story.